Okay guys, now I'm going to give you some instructions about how to identify and write problem and solution essay. Problem solution essay is one of four IELTS essay types. Most important essay is opinion essay. Second most important essay is discussion essay. Then third and fourth we have problem solution and advantages disadvantages essay. Now as far as problem solution essay is concerned it is divided into two separate kinds or two separate genre or parts. Part one is problem and solution. They will give you a, a situation and they will say what are the problems and how to solve these problems. So this is purely a problem and solution essay. Second type is cause and solution. They will say what are the reasons of poverty in third world countries and how can we eradicate it. So causes and solution. One is problem and solution and one is causes and solution. And the third type is cause and effect. What are the reasons? For example, what are the reasons of corruption and how does it affect a society? So causes and solution, problem and solution, causes and reason. A causes and effect, effect of those causes. Now, whenever you write on this, it's very easy to identify the topic. In the topic, they will use the word, what are the problems? What are the issues and how can we solve them? What are the reasons? And the word solve, solution, this word will be used and you can easily identify that this is problem solution essay. Okay, once you identify the essay is problem solution, you should know in every problem solution essay, you have two choices. Choice number one, you can write four paragraphs. Choice number two, you can write five paragraphs. Both are fine, but five paragraphs are better than four paragraphs. I tell you why. First, you write introduction. In your introduction, you are going to write three sentences. Just three. Sentence number one, general sentence about the problem. One general sentence in your own words about the problem sentence number two paraphrase the problem paraphrase means you can change the order change the wording of the problem paraphrase the problem and sentence number three is your thesis sentence like you say in this essay i will discuss the reasons of poverty in third world countries and how to eradicate this social issue something like that is this clear? So in three, and, and by the way, whatever I'm telling you, it's all in the books. I'll tell you about the books as well, right? So three sentences. Now, after that, the best solution is when you write body paragraphs, I advise you to write three body paragraphs. Body paragraph number one contains one problem plus one solution or one cause plus one solution or one cause plus one uh, effect of that very cause. So we call it one plus one. One plus one means problem and solution. One plus one means cause one and solution one. In the next paragraph, you will write second problem and second solution. Solution and problem should be same. Okay. In third body paragraph, you will write third problem with third solution, third cause with third solution. Okay, this is very, very simple. And then in last paragraph, you're going to write conclusion. In five paragraphs, you can easily write your problem and solution essay. And by the way, cause of the problem depends on you. For essay writing, you need to remember these three C's when you write your sentences. C number one is compound sentences. C number two is complex sentences. And C number three is conditional, mainly compound. In one body paragraph, you can write one complex sentence. And if you're giving an example somewhere, you can use a conditional sentence, but mainly compound and complex. Main, for example, 60% you can write compound sentences. Uh, 20, 25, 30% you can write complex sentences to show the examiner that you are familiar with this type as well. And then you can write conditional sentences when you're giving any example. Okay, so this is all about problem and solution essay. Thank you.